Let's just drink some tea. Hello ladies and gents, welcome back to the channel, Mantok here. Uh, as you can see, we are currently in the Texan T6 by A2A Simulations, and we're currently sitting on the apron here at Gloucester. Uh, today we are uh, flying just a couple of touch and goes at Gloucester. Uh, we have full ATC coverage and uh, some traffic currently on the ground, as well as in the air, approaching the airfield. So we're going to have a little bit of... Uh, VATSIM communications going on. This is my first proper time with uh, the T6 on VATSIM. I've done uh, a number of flights. Um, previous to this, you can see I've got about 3.7 hours on the aircraft so far. Um, so not a lot of time, but enough time hopefully that I won't die. So a uh, few things I have done differently this time from my uh, first look video. I have my starter rather than on the direct crank uh, it is now on the inertia, um, the G the G5 inertia rather than the, actually, the, gr the direct crank. I would rather have a direct crank rather than, rather than an inertia starter, because I think I tried the inertia starter last time, but we'll see. Um, uh, my brother actually out in California is a, a T s he flies T6s, and so since seeing my earlier video, um, he uh, gave me some good pointers, so and uh, told me a little bit about the aircraft. Um, but yeah, so let me see. I've got my over-the-nose view, instrument view, instructor view, and normal view. <coughs> right. Without much further ado, let's just get stuck in. Um, you can see my charts here. Transitional altitude 3000, elevation 101, which means our circuit altitude is most likely going to be 1100 feet as opposed to 1000 feet. Um, here is our uh, um, chart. Uh, runway, I can confirm because I listened to ATIS, is 04, which is this one here, and we are currently at stand 2. So we'll be taxing Alpha to hold Alpha 3 to cross runway 36 hold bravo 2, uh, sorry, hold bravo 1, uh, taxi bravo to hold bravo 1 for runway 04. So that's going to be quite a long-winded, convoluted ATC transmission there with the uh, approach controller, as you can imagine. Uh, currently, let's just have a look at VATSIM. Currently, we have approach controller on, so he's going to handle us the entire time as we do our we're going to do one touch and go and then another and then a second circuit and then coming into land. So not a long, not not a massive flight this evening, but just a good introduction uh, to flying this aircraft online in an online environment. So, without much further ado, uh, I've just popped in a few other things into the aircraft, which we will not need today. Uh, we will not need the autopilot at all, so let's turn that off. Um, I did use it for some, I tried to use it for some cross-country flying, I haven't quite figured that out yet. I got the um, the altitude um, the altitude hold to work, but uh, yeah. Okay, so let's uh, begin our startup by turning the props. Um, this one here, I believe, hand prop, turn it nine blades. One, two, no. Oh. Does that not? I don't want to start the engine, but that that only turned the prop like once, so I'm not quite sure why that that didn't work. Anyway, uh, remove chocks and so forth, which I have done. Controls are uh, unlocked. Seat belts, shoulder harnesses on. Flaps are up. Fuel tank, uh, desired tank. Let's just see. Uh, Sixty and seventy. So actually. Yep, and my fuel is on the right-hand tank, which is the heavier tank, and we see that confirmed here. Um, fuel selectors to die tank, trims are neutral, uh, which they are. Uh, gear switch is down. Yep, correct, gear switch is down, radios are off. Okay, let's turn... Um, 
radios off, let's turn battery off, all electrical switches off, autopilot off, circuit breakers are are all in, so that's what they look like when they're out by the way let's just pop them back in uh, okay, so engine start. Check prop has pulled nine blades. Um, how do I pull nine blades? How do I? Okay, hand. If I select that on, and then go, can I drag it like it was in the Piper Cub? Uh, let's go cockpit, uh, outside tower, runway, custom camera. No, there's no like cockpit, like pull blade function, unfortunately. So maybe, maybe I'm just getting it wrong here. Because I think ground, yeah. So that's that's where you pop. I think that's where you pop in your your crank. Or no, that that's prob that could be where you pop in your crank to crank the thing. But um, Uh, I'm not quite sure how that works. I will have to find out on the forums. Um, or read the manual. That is what I will do. Um, fuel selector is desired tank. Let's crack the throttle about half an, half an inch. Mixture, let's leave that rich. Uh, prop, full decrease. Let's turn battery on. Uh, prime, five strokes if cold. <coughs> I'm recovering from a little bit of a cold, so pardon my voice. I think that was four. Let's just do a fifth. And close that off. Uh, okay, uh, prime. Okay, let's engage. After four blades, turn mags to both. Okay, we're pretty much ready to go. Uh, let's just make sure my... My... Control... My... Parking brake is on. Okay, ready. Uh, so we need to count four blades. What? One, two, three, four. There you go. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. Yes. There's my darling. Okay, T's and P's. Oil's coming into the green. Fuel pressure's good. Oil is going to be a little bit higher pressure because it's, uh, the temperature of the oil is actually, uh, a little low, but as soon as the temperature of the oil increases, the viscosity will increase, or the viscosity will decrease, and uh, and uh, the pressure should go down. But everything is in the green. That's slightly, slightly above at the moment. But let's just leave the engine. Let's just leave the engine to warm up. Uh, while we do that, let's go back to here. Um, after four blades mags both slowly prime one to three strokes didn't do that but the engines engaged now anyway let's just let's keep obtain oh obtain five to six hundred rpm which we are roughly uh, oil pressure yeah we did check that first time we came on oil pressures within the limits uh, generator let's turn the generator on now the generator is on uh, avionics let's turn them on Turn my engine down and engine noise is down. Okay, so uh, warm up and pre taxi oil pressure 440 uh, psi. Uh, that's the pressure. Yeah, it's uh, greater than 40 psi. Let's increase the props now. Props full increase. Radios, uh, radios are now on as we can see. Uh, default squawk 4000, I believe. Um, altimeter is set. Um, we did check the Q&H, which is 1028. Uh, landing gear indicators are both green. 
radio, ATIS, yeah, I, I just got ATIS myself, uh, which is uh, takeoff runway 04, left hand circuits, information Bravo, Q&H, uh, 1028. So let's just double check that, 1028, correct. Parking brake release, fuel quantity check. Uh, we have checked fuel selectors is on desired tank, mixture is set, brakes test on initial roll. So at this point, um, I'm going to uh, grab um, taxi instructions. <coughs> so tower is 12855. Like so, let's just double check that uh, VAT sim is still showing us what we need. Yep, okay, and we have some incoming aircraft there. Um, and we are Golf Lima India Foxtrot Romeo, uh, which is an old registration. So it is Gloucester Approach. Uh, good evening, Gloucester Approach, Golf Lima India Foxtrot Romeo. India um, Gloucester Approach, Golf Lima India Foxtrot Romeo is a uh, Texan T6 currently on the ground here at Gloucester with information Bravo. Uh, Q&H is, uh, is uh, Miller Bars uh, 1028 uh, requesting uh, a touch and go and a circuit please. Foxtrot Romeo, Taxi Fire Alpha and Bravo, holding point Bravo 1, cross runway 18 and uh, QFE correct. That's Taxi Alpha. Apologies, correct. Thanks. Uh, that's, uh, that's Taxi Alpha Bravo to hold Bravo 1 while crossing runway 18, uh, Gulf Foxtrot Romeo. Oop, dropped my pen. Cool, so that seems to be fair. Yeah, uh, let's just take a <laughs> quick swig of tea. We should be on our way. So he gave us what I expected. Alpha, cross, um, he said cross 1-8. Oh. Oh, uh, 18's the opposite runway, yeah. So that's Alpha cross runway 18 Bravo to whole Bravo 1. So we know where we're going. Okay, so let's just center our camera and release our brakes. And uh, I believe you push, no, yeah, you pull, you pull your you pull the stick back into your gut to turn to uh, release the nose wheel, the the tail wheel. Sorry. Whoop. And there is a strange. Uh, what I'm going to do? Is open. Oh, that Carinado over there is a helicopter, obviously. That guy that was just talking is the, uh, oh, there's my taxiway. You have to keep on top of the T6 on the, on the ground, it is. It can very quickly. It can very quickly. Uh, the report final just becoming number one. Roll away with you. You can see my tail wheel, even even though I'm not really going very fast. I'm not giving the. Not giving the rudder, or sorry, not giving the engine that much. Throttle. And even then. It's running away with me. Use differential braking to slow the aircraft because if you just if you don't use differential braking, you just hit the brakes. It, the 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 tail will lift just like that. But if you um, tap the brakes while turning, you're using differential brakes, which is easier. Oh, and I just stopped on the taxiway. And am I on hotel? Wait, hang on. I'm on hotel. What the crap? Oh, 
That just must be wrong. Oh no, the hotel is that one over there. I'm on Alpha. Yep, so... Yep, hotel. Oh, I'm in the right place. Let's just not kill ourselves or make... Embarrass ourselves in front of everyone. You do have to weave about a bit to look at to see over this massive radial engine. Okay, so this is uh, this is uh, runway three six slash uh, one eight, which we were told that we could. To Airport, taxi to we were told that uh, we could cross that and continue on Bravo. Lovely day. Okay, so now we're uh, getting close to... Okay, run up. I have a feeling we're not going to have that much time to do all this. But... Uh, let's see, let's just do a quick prop cycle while we're on the ground. Carp heat check. Uh, crap, where was the carp heat? There we go. Yep. RPM drop. Seen with the carp heat. Yep, that's correct. Engine instruments, let's just check them. Uh, yep. In the green, in the green, in the green. Car cylinder head temperature is a little low, but that's that's never a problem. Cruise mixture, um, 99. idle. Okay. Gold Foxtrot Romeo uh, holding Bravo 1. <coughs> Gold Foxtrot Romeo, Richard, after the landing, uh, Cessna 172. A question behind the landing, Cessna 172. Romeo 04, line up and wait behind. Uh, line up and wait uh, behind landing aircraft, uh, runway 04, Gold Foxtrot Romeo. Okay, uh, so that's it. Controls free and correct. Instruments and switches. Let's just check. We've got avionics on, battery on. We've got the correct um, active frequency. We've got uh, default squawk. And uh, yeah, we seem to be good. Instruments and switches. That's correct. Uh, let's see. Lights are on. Yeah, landing lights are both on. Flaps are uh, flaps are up, but we'll do a flaps up takeoff. There's don't need flaps. There's a nice, respectable runway. Um, mixture is rich. Primer is locked. Uh, prop full increase. Trim tabs. Uh, elevator. Eleven o'clock. Rudder at two o'clock. Optional. Uh, flaps up. Engine gauges. Uh, yeah, we did just check, but we'll double check them again. That's correct, and it should be fine. Takeoff. Yoke neutral th uh, throttle 32 to 36 manifold pressure. Uh, okay, so we're going to be looking for a manifold pressure to be in between 30 and 36. There is our landing aircraft just uh, coming left to right in the screen there. So let's just pull into position. And just off with the brakes, let ourselves casually roll forwards. Just sit back in my seat here. Don't let the aircraft. Oh, don't let the aircraft run away with itself. Okay. 
Go Fox for Romeo in position. Okay, I'm just basically ready for Okay, so runway heading, let's just double check this, is uh, zero 04. So we want to be opposite, which is 12. Is uh, 21. Taxi fire, Foxtrot, Echo, uh, across Alpha, across runway 27. Greg. You should give me my takeoff clearance. Uh, sorry, did I miss my takeoff clearance, Golf Fox or Romeo? Golf well, Fox got negative. Golf Fox Romeo. Uh, negative, disposing for the traffic for uh, your departure uh, trajectory. Okay. <coughs> I got Fox Trot Romeo, left hand circuit, runway 04, clear for takeoff, wind 050, six knots. That's left hand circuit, so runway 04, clear takeoff, Golf Fox Trot Romeo. Brakes off, advancing my throttle up to between 30 to 30. Six. Whoa. And up we go. Taxi to where did you say? Copy of the Taxi to the main eight. Uh, taxi to main eight from Alpha, Golf in the sunlight. There we go. Helicopters above the Juliet, uh, request taxi to the helipad near the tower. So, climbing. Golf in the Juliet, uh, lift and taxi by the grass to the uh, helicopter parking southwest of the tower. Uh, across all runways. Over taxi, cross all the runways to the heli pad uh, near the tower. Uh, Golf, remember Julia. No higher than this. Okay, let's take a left hand turn to roughly 3, 310 ish. That's where we want to be. No higher, no higher. Do not climb, buddy. Do not climb. It wants to climb. Get that nose down, boy. There we go, thank you. Not that far down. Okay, just watching my my heading indicator. That is about 90 degrees right there. Very good. You get up some... Get some good speed. We're about 130 knots right now. Call for uniform bike at um, parking Alpha and at shutting down. And thank you for your service. Okay, okay. uniform bike, welcome to Gusto. Thanks again. Yeah, bye. Cruise power is set. RPM is set. Mixture is lean. Well, we're only at a thousand, uh, just over a thousand feet. So, okay, getting ready for my downwind leg Go Fox for Romeo turning downwind Go Fox for Romeo report final Report final Go Fox for Romeo Just trying to smoothen out that Zero four uh, is about there. I'm just looking at the opposite, the opposite Dr. needle. Roger, that's approved. Let's just double check the wind again. Was uh, zero five zero at six knots. It's not too bad. 
Okay, getting ready. We've got to start thinking about our setup for the approach before we get to the base leg. There is the runway still, getting about... We're just about a beam the airfield. <coughs> Still within limits. Lovely, uh, lovely cruise altitude here on circuit. That's good. Thank you very much for your ATC. We'll see you again. Hello, Miss Julia. Welcome to Gloucestershire, and uh, nice to be back. Uh, thanks for flying. Bye. Got a little bit further to go. About halfway down the the downwind leg. Still cruising at a lovely 130 knots. Got another 60 seconds of this and then we'll turn and then we'll turn base leg. Okay, so setting up for the approach, autopilot off, reduce speed 130, carb, cold. Carb is on free air. Carb cold. I remember. I remember. I remember someone telling me about that setting. I've forgotten what it is now. Uh, fuel selector fullest tank, which it is. Uh, we haven't burnt that much, so we're still going to be on right hand tank. Uh, gear down and locked. Mixture rich. If above 3,000 feet airport, um, keep it lean. But we're not obviously. So. Okay. There is the airport. So let's turn. Let's turn base now, which is about just a hair off 1-2, or uh, 120 degrees. Do a nice steady rate, uh, 30 degrees turn. Let's see if we can keep z our, our um, vertical speed stable. Oh, no, no, don't climb, don't climb, boy. Okay, and there is about 90 degrees and there is our airfield so let's just start easing back our speed now to about uh, 100 knots I'm looking for and as we pull the engine back we're going to start descending let's just continue let's just keep our let's just keep our uh, altitude in between uh, 1100 and 1200 feet That's beautiful scenery. You see all these trees. Check that autogen. Like that's some serious autogen. Look at those buildings over there. Uh, okay. Whoa. The second, I take my head out of the, off the instruments. Just because this is a VFR situation in an aircraft, which is a trainer, doesn't mean it's not hands on deck at all times to keep it where it needs to be. So let's just. Excuse me. Okay, so my um, my mixture is rich, my uh, throttle is full on, and that looks to be close. That's my runway there, so I'm close to my. I'm going to call that. I'm going to call that my final approach. Golf Fox at Romeo, final approach uh, zero four. Boom. Okay, let's just continue to Gold Fox Romeo, final approach zero four. Gold Fox Romeo, runway zero four, cliff touch and go, left between zero five zero six knot. Clear touch and go zero four, Gold Fox Romeo. Okay, hundred knots. Gear coming down. At this point, we can just sit at, at in this view, which is to simulate the pilot's head and the pilot just leaning forwards and putting his face a little closer to the front window pane. So there's nothing terribly, there's nothing unrealistic about this view. I'm sure a pilot would thrust his head a bit further forward just so he can get the right view. I'm just trying to make sure that I'm on speed. 
let's just let's just pull that view down. I'm literally just going to uh Okay. I'm going to bring some flaps down. And I can already feel the whoa, I can feel the change that has on the aircraft and you see my airspeed is plummeting down to 80 knots, which is our approach speed. But we're descending uh 500 feet per minute, which is fine, which is a classic descent speed for aircraft around 90 to 100 knots. Whoa, let's I'm trying to trim there, but trimming in, in this aircraft is a bit aggressive. So let's see if I can make it over those trees, touch down gently, and then fire on away, and then just whack the manifold in pressure up again to get to get off the end of the runway before we crash into the opposite <laughs> line of trees. All right, here we go. It's just whoa! Don't drop a wing. Let's come down easily now. About 75 knots. Okay. Throttle back on again. Okay, flying 80 knots. That's just positive rate gear coming up. Just clear those trees. <laughs> Dem trees now. That was that was pretty good. I felt very good about that. Uh, sit back again and let's just do some level flight to pick up some speed let's just bring back my throttle now because it was over the red line flaps up speed increasing and bring the prop down because the prop is redlining as redlining as redlining as well. Sorry, um, I don't quite know what it is. I have not got my uh, throttle quadrant set up correctly for this aircraft. Um, I am actually in the market for buying a new throttle quadrant soon because this one is becoming uh, is kind of not working. Uh, it's starting to. Okay, there's my my circuit ceiling and Whew. that was good okay let's think about turning uh, turning our crosswind leg so turning to uh, about 310 degrees, 30 degrees bank. Let's see if we can maintain our altitude in the turn as best we can. And 310 is about there. <coughs> Very good. I'm enjoying this aircraft. Don't don't climb. There we go. One forty. There we go, ladies and gents. Let's just double check to see what the Batsim's up to. Okay, I'm the only one in the air now at the moment. Uh all of the people who were inbound obviously came in, landed just as I was taking off and then have logged off now. But we still have our approach controller and he's not left us he's not left us in the lurch anytime soon. Beautiful day and scenery as I said before. Okay, that should be good. Let's do our bait our downwind turn. Gold Fox for Romeo turning downwind. Let's just maintain altitude in the turn, which we will almost bang on there now. Look at that. 
almost bang on the altitude in the turn. Fantastic. Uh, Fox Romeo, report final. Report final, Golf Fox Romeo. And they're just coming out of our turn now. That was a f that was the best turn I've ever done in the T6 so far. I maintained altitude almost perfectly there. Only a descent rate of about twenty. About uh, ten to twenty, ten to twenty uh, descent rate there. Um, feet per minute. Sorry, yes. Uh, let's just bring back our throttle to thirty inches. Our throttle's just playing it over a little bit, and our RPM should be good at nineteen hundred. That's a good standard cruise. Let's just check for the airfield is uh, yonder. Let's just maintain our heading and our altitude. It's a lot of little touches in this aircraft, a lot of tiny adjustments to keep this where it needs to be. Here's the airfield. Heidi's having fun in the back. Okay, so <coughs> we did climb a little bit, so let's just come down slightly. <coughs> There's not much going on now at the moment, of course, that sim died down slightly. But I thought I'd jump on and do a little few circuits as an introduction to uh, VAT simming in the T6. I hope to be doing a lot more um, flying on VATSIM in the T6 soon on the channel. VFR, IFR, cross country, all sorts of stuff. ILSs, VORs, all of that. All of that good stuff. That's a deceptive runway light. It almost looked like... Because cause there's so many runways at Gloucester, when you look at it, I thought I'd overshot the... I uh, thought I'd overshot the, the runway, but I haven't. Um, there's that little hill there, so I should be turning soon, which I recognize the terrain here. This is close to where I turned last time. Whoop! Got a little overzealous with trimming there. Okay. 30 degree bank. Let's maintain altitude, just using the uh, stick and the rudder, just to try and maintain those two, and waiting until I come 90 degrees onto the runway, which is about now. There we go. Alright, let's start slowing down as before. There's the, the field. Okay, prop full on. So, prop 100%, mixture 100%. Let's just bring my throttle down. See, look at this. Look at how the manifold pressure. See, see the throttle quadrant? See my throttle? See how it kind of bounces around? My input. See? It mm. anyway, right. Let's not let's not unstabilize ourselves now. We're a little bit low now. Okay, that taught us that the uh that last touch and go taught us the runway is is not as long as I would like it to be, so so I'm going to uh, do my best to be as fully prepared beforehand on this approach. And there is our runway, as before. And let's call that a turn. Whoop. 
Easy does it. Go Foxtrot Romeo turning final runway zero four. There you go. Go Foxtrot Romeo runway zero four. Go touching go surface wind zero five zero six knot. Uh, can I request a full stop landing runway zero four? If I'm clear to land runway zero four. Clear to land uh, runway zero four. Go Foxtrot Romeo. Okay. Right. Let's get that speed down. I'm faster on this approach than I was at this point on my last one. So gear coming down and flaps coming down, throttle coming back on before we stall. Let's just sit back in my chair so I can see better. Okay, I'm just trimming myself here. Mixture rich, prop full, downwind to 120, base, okay, final 90. Well, that's miles per hour, but I'm f miles per hour and knots are fairly close at that point. Okay, I'm not going to do any outside view, I want to land from the cockpit for this one. So none of none of that. Let's keep inside now. And let's just pop up our view. <coughs> Eighty knots. Let's just make it over this tree line. And then hunker it down. Okay. Pulling off the, pulling off the throttle. Oh yes. Whoop. Oh, I did. I I touched down perfectly, but then I. Differential braking. Remember. Whoa, not too much now. You overcompensate and spin out and do a, uh, a, uh, whatchamacallit. Okay. Golf Fox for Romeo vacating, uh, zero 04. Golf Fox for Romeo, uh, taxi via. Romeo 09 and Alpha to the main apron. Uh, taxi Alpha 09 to main apron. Thank you very much. Golf Fox to Romeo. And now that we're on the ground, we are fogging up, so let's just pull. Let's do that. And uh, there we go, ladies and gents. That was a very successful short. But a, a nice, compact, eventful uh, VAT sim flight. My first VAT sim flight ever in the T6, so I'm quite happy with that. Um, yeah. So the A2A T6, ladies and gents. I'm really looking forward to getting to know this aircraft better, as this aircraft is uh, exactly what you need to train on to uh, proficiently fly the Warbirds. And uh, the Warbirds, of course, I've not ever really flown seriously on VATSIM uh, or flown on my YouTube channel. I'm talking about the A2A Warbirds specifically, so the P-51 and the P-40 and the Spitfire. Um, and those aircraft, um, historically, the pilots that flew in those aircraft trained in the likes of the T-6. So there you go. Shutting down at GA parking. Thank you very much for ATC. Uh, good afternoon, Gold Fox for Romeo. Gold Fox for Romeo, thanks for flying and uh, see you again. Yep. Okay, so after landing, flaps up, trim tabs neutral, 
prop increased. That's correct. Sh okay, uh, shut down radios. Turn that off. Transponder off. Uh, throttle 1450. Why is my why is my throttle already showing? Why is my RPM so far? Oh, okay, whatever. Oh, actually no. Duh. Blonde moment there. Except I'm not blonde, but anyway. Um, so 14, roughly. F oh, see that dip? Don't like that. 1400, roughly. Throttle 1400 RPM, and then full decrease of the prop for 20 seconds, and then the mixture off. So we're about 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Right, there you go. Okay, mixture off. Magnetos off. Master switch off. All electrical switches. Off. Fuel selector. Off. Controls. Locked. Chock. Tie down. Plane. So that's uh, wheel chocks, tie downs, oil clean kit, pitot cover, empty plane. Oh, well, yeah, empty plane, that's fine, yep. Okay, ladies and gents, thank you very much for joining me. This was my first VATSIM flight in the Texan uh, T6 by A2A Simulations in Gloucester um, on a lovely sunny uh, spring afternoon, so... Yep, just uh, the basic standard ATC calls uh, to do to do uh, a few a uh, few circuits, a touch and go, and a full stop landing. So that was just talking to Gloucester approach to taxi to the runway, and then take off, and then do the 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 two circuits, and then talking to him again just briefly to come into the ground. Uh, not terribly hard, but if you're a beginner in ATC transmissions and you don't really know what's going on. Uh, your standard circuit at an airfield is basically your meat. It's your bread and butter. Um, it is the first step to, uh, to to understanding how ATC works. So it's always fun um, after after a while to return to doing a circuit on this YouTube channel, just to to keep things get things back to the basics and uh, appreciate uh, the building blocks um, of of a flight. So thank you very much for watching, folks, and uh, stay tuned for more content later on, and I'll catch you next time.